So for today's video, we decided to try the weirdest flavored instant noodles from different convenience stores in Korea. So yesterday, we went to four different type of convenience stores in Korea, which are CU, GS, Mini Stop, and 7-Eleven to get all the ramen. Yes. So just to let our cuties know, we're not really a ramen person. Yeah. We hardly, we hardly ever eat ramen. Yeah. The only thing we ate from the everything that we got today is only one, which is Pulda Bokkumyeon. This is the only one that we ate from all 10 ramen that we got. Yeah. So I'm really excited. Yes. Yes, and I'm really hungry. Yes. Jesus. But before we jump into the next clip, we quickly want to introduce six of our students. Oh, the students. Oh my god, it's kind of cringy. We're sensei. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you could still know, every once or twice a year, we have this YouTube mentoring class where yeah. we teach YouTubers yeah. how to about become a YouTuber. YouTuber. Or like, well, just, they're already a YouTuber, yeah. but like, we're just giving like some tips, yeah, sharing our own experiences. Yeah. So we kind of want to use this time to introduce six of our students. So for three of our students, mainly their channels is all about vlogs. So first student, her name is Day. She has a channel called Hey Day Seoul. So if you're interested in life about Korean university students, make sure to check her out. And her dream is to become a travel agent. So she loves exploring different places in Korea, especially cafe. So if you just want to learn about pretty cafes in Seoul, make sure to check her out. Next student, her name is Diane. She has a channel called Dinery. And currently she's based in Australia working as a forklift operator. Uh, when we first met her, through the Zoom meeting. She was like, so innocent. She had like this braided hair and like, oh, so innocent and like little baby. But then she said, I'm a forklift operator. And we're like, Ooh. So currently she's in her journey of raising money for her school tuition. So if you want to follow her journey, make sure to check her out. She also has really interesting content coming up. Next, her name is Yusa. She has a channel called Yusa. And she used to work as a flight attendant in the UK. So she has a beautiful, gorgeous, sexy British accent that I wanted. Say one, say one. Oh my God, my it's what do you want to say? Bloody hell. Bloody hell. <laughs> so at her channel, you can find a lot of like travel and daily vlogs. And she loves cats, beer, drawing, and jazz. So if you love these kind of content, make sure to check her out. So our next two students, their channels are mainly about beauty. First is Jenny and she has a channel called It's Jenny Style. She's a Korean Canadian content creator. She's from Canada. <laughs> but she's currently residing in Seoul though. Yeah. yeah. It's just that I miss Canada very much. Oh, Canada, I don't know native land. <laughs> Although her channel is mainly about beauty, she also do like lifestyle and vlogging content. And I honestly think she has one of the most beautiful lips. And yes. she has a lot of Korean beauty lip products review yeah. on her channel, so make sure to check it out. And she's also planning to start sharing her life in Seoul, so make sure to check her out. The so next student is Odile, and she has a beauty channel called The Monodist. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, she's very unique, right? Yeah. She has been an art director with many years of experience working with beauty brands across Asia and Europe. She does a lot of review, but is very informative. It's just a very insightful yeah. channel And it's interesting to see her review from her industry knowledge and professional expertise side So if you want a really thorough, insightful. professional, insightful review about K-Beauty products, make sure to check her out So last but not least, one of our students, her name is Alina And she has a channel called Kore Nishima And she already has like 1 million followers to be yes. honest So I'm like, do you really need her mentoring? Because <laughs> I need mentoring from you, lady <laughs> But in her channel, she mainly speaks in Portuguese yes. and she shares about like K-culture, like K-drama, K-pop. But she's also planning to explore more in like K-beauty and K-fashion as well. So make sure to check her out. And if there are any cuties from Brazil, make sure to check her out and say hi. Yes, yeah, so she has a husband who's also from Brazil. So. Yes. It's really interesting. Yeah, Kitty. So those are six of our students currently. Yeah. We'll put the link to their channel at the description box. So if you're interested, please go and support. Say hi. So that's the end of the chit chat. And let's hurry taste these babies. I'm so hungry, sister. Yeah, I'm so hungry. Let's go, let's go. Okay. 
Let's do this! So, we went to Hongdae to visit various convenience stores for instant ramen. The first stop was Siyu, and instantly we saw this hot chicken flavored ramen, also known as Pulta Bokumyeon, and it also had a carbonara flavor. And guess what, cuties? They had a milk flavored ramen. Like, what in the world? We then went to Mini Stop and found a cheese rice cake flavor and maratang flavored ramen. But the best part is that we found the spiciest Carolina Reaper ramen. Bye bye, my butthole. <laughs> Next, we went to GS25 store and found cheese egg and black bean combo noodle flavor ramen as well as spicy tteokbokki flavor ramen and spaghetti flavor ramen. On the next day, we stopped by at another CU once more because they had a ketchup flavor ramen and Chongyang hot pepper flavor ramen which is like the hottest pepper in Korea. So, we got a total of 10 weird flavor Korean instant ramen as well as a hot spicy liquid sauce for an extra spice. Oh boy. Okay, let's do it. I'm so, so hungry. hungry okay. So first, we're gonna try the milk ramen. So the powder itself has like a milk powder, I guess? Yeah, it is. So it's not like you have to boil a milk and pour it. No, it's no. just pour a water. Yeah! Yeah. Boil a milk and put it? That's like carbonara. 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 <laughs> but the packaging looks cute. Yeah. So five out of five for that. <laughs> oh, so it's just a regular red Ramen. sauce. Yeah. I thought it would be white. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. I'll be careful with my hands, sis. Yes, and then it says to microwave for two minutes. It's here, it's here. Oh. Okay, and then last, you put that milk soup thing. Oh, it's white. Oh. I really don't want to put it. It's so going to ruin this. <laughs> it tastes more like a cheese. Ooh, it's turning into like that kind of vomit color. Sister! <laughs> Okay. Mm. Hey, this is not a milk ramen. Just regular ramen, man. It just tastes exactly ramen. It's just that the color is kind of like milky. Yeah. But other than that, it's nothing different. We just got scammed. Yeah. But it tastes good though. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. I'm so excited for this one. Chongyang gochu ramen. Like in Korea, the most spiciest pepper is called Chongyang gochu. So. Come here. Oh, this is so not ladylike. <laughs> oh, I think this is a cube of the pepper. You mean chunks of yeah, it? Yeah, chunks of it. Oh, it is. And this is the soup. Put it's everything. It's not the same. Here is the block. Look at the. Here you go. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Whoa! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. oh, it's really red. Yeah, exceptionally red. I think that's too little, sis. That's not fair. <laughs> You're not spicy at all. Wait, this is what the hell? Man, all these brands are scamming us. Yeah, man. We need our money back. <laughs> okay, this one is ketchup. Oh. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of ketchup, yeah. so. Oh. 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 Really? So there's literally a ketchup. A ketchup. Ooh. You put those little stuff. So I dumped the water. Okay, now let's put the ketchup. Okay. Ooh, that is some dark ketchup. Ooh, I can smell it, but I don't know about this, man. <laughs> mm, I think it's gonna be yummy. Mmm, smells good. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is like, you know, the, the Filipino s sweet spaghetti. Ah, spaghetti. Jollibee, Jollibee. Oh, Jollibee yeah. kind of I always want to try Jollibee. Yeah, but we don't have it in Korea. Yeah. But I feel like it's like that. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. It doesn't taste like ketchup at all. Yeah. It tastes like Korean dakgangjeon. Yeah, dakgangjeon. And it has a little bit of spice. Is this how Filipino Jollibee spaghetti tastes like? I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> um, uh, mm. mm. really Super good. sweet. You know, success. This is my favorite so far. Like they say, don't, don't judge, judge the book by its cover. <laughs> I'm so scared, sister. I so want to try this. <gasps> Carolina Ripper. So we're <laughs> it's literally black. It literally says caution. This is so scary. So we bought this at Taisel. <laughs> Which is like a traditional pan where you should eat ramen. Yes. 
Put it in, put it in. Okay, so we got rid of the water. I just need to put the sauce. Oh. 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 Oh, shit. oh, I'm so scared. It smells really weird. The smell is like very unique. Yeah, it's, it's not a food smell. <laughs> Kind of chemical ish yeah. smell. Oh, what if this is not spicy? I'm gonna be so, so disappointed. <laughs> Girl, it's gonna be hella spicy, so don't worry. Just clench your butthole. <laughs> so salty. Wow. Wow. <gasps> this is spicy. <gasps> this is like not even spicy, it's like tangy. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Do you have water? <laughs> okay, we're back, kitties. She wants a life. <laughs> this is a cheese. This is a cheese pokey. Okay, we're gonna put this in the microwave and go to drain all the water. I'm back, cheese! <laughs> I'm alive, I'm okay. But I'm sure I went and saw Jesus. <laughs> Here goes the sauce. Mm. Smells like cheese it. Uh, cracker cheese it. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, so cheesy. So this is the color. Quite cheesy. It's like mac and cheese. Mmm! Mmm! <gasps> so sweet! So sweet! Sweet mac and cheese. Mm. Korean lemons are so sweet. Sweet. There's some like garlic mm. there too, right? It's good though. It's not bad though. Mmm! It's good. Next one is Mago Bani Jajangmyeon. I like Jajangmyeon. But I think it's um, Jajangmyeon and cheese. Oh! Okay. There's three, three sauces. This is cheese soup. Jajangmyeon soup. Yeah. Also, maybe there's an egg there. Here you go. Oh, oh, that's so cute. cute. So this is the kid up? I think so. <laughs> I'll put some water. Whoa, this is gonna be hella cheesy again. That's jajang sauce, right? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. That is way too much sauce for one serving. Yeah. Practically half of it is sauce. Mm. I have a feeling this is gonna be freaking sweet again. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Spaghetti mm. smell. So here's the visual, cuties. It looks Ooh. so good. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. So sweet. All of this cheese really tastes very artificial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? but I mean it's good. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's have this one again, cuties. You remember last time? We actually ate this with the um, spicy Thai chili. So, let's do this again. Let's add this. I'm gonna go and see Jesus once more. <laughs> we just drained the water. Let's put the sauce. Put the sauce. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, I think you put too much water, sis. Intentionally. <laughs> yeah, I think we should drain some water. Okay. okay. Here it goes, sis! Ah! Oh! 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 Okay, Kitty, so here's the visual. It looks like a regular lamian. No, it's not. <laughs> mm -mm. It is still spicy, mm -hmm. but it's not to the point where you're gonna drill. This is at least quite sweet and yummy. Look at this one's actually really tasty. Yeah. Okay. okay, just to make this chance a little fun, we're gonna actually, at the end of this video, add this to this, the leftover, and eat it. Let's do it, sister. For the entertainment, sister, we should do it. Okay. Then I'm gonna see the Jesus entire family. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, that was quite spicy though. <coughs> yeah, it is spicy. This is spaghetti ramen. I like spaghetti. Now, let's see the difference between the ketchup ramen yes. and the spaghetti ramen. Ooh, they have a paste, spaghetti paste, spaghetti, the saucy thing. Those mm -hmm. are little flakes. Mm. Just gonna microwave. <laughs> the spaghetti powder. Ooh, mm. that's interesting. Smells very vinegary. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Whoa! But it smells like Fridays. Mm, it doesn't smell like spaghetti, but it's uh, more like BBQ rib. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is exactly the same. 
It's exactly the same, but this one has a little, a little bit of vinegar scent. This one's less sweet. Mm. I prefer this one. Mm. <coughs> but it's nothing like spaghetti, just no. so you know. So next we're gonna try the Purda Bukumyong carbonara. Yeah. carbonara. So basically it's like the same thing as this, but it's in a carbonara case. Yeah, so it's more creamy. Ooh. And here's the spicy sauce. Whoa. Whoa. But the color is like... like. <laughs> and even the noodle is very thick. thick. Ooh, yeah. Well, look at that glistening. If there's any cuties watching our video right now at night, night, go get something cuties. Yes. I know how that feels. <laughs> yeah. Must be really hungry. Yes. Here you go. Here's your bite, cuties. Mmm. Mm. So salty. Mm. <laughs> And it's so creamy. The salty is another level. That's way too salty. Mm. Mm -hmm. So thick and gooey. Mm -hmm. oh. It's delicious, but way too salty. So last one is maratang. We have never had a maratang. Mm -mm. Maratang is also a spicy food. What? It's a glass noodle. Yeah, the sauce. One, two, three. Four. What's this? Uh, oh, oh, some veggie. Okay. It's some kind of powder. What? Yeah. Oh, some another dried veggie. Oh, veggie. Whoa. Ooh, it has like herby scent. Mm. Ooh. Whoa. It smells Whoa. like medicine. I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah. Ooh, I feel like it's gonna be really good. Yeah, man. I am ready to eat. 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 I am ready to eat. 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 I am ready to eat. 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 She make a ringtone out of that. Ooh. Ooh, the scent is really something new. Yeah. Ooh. Here it goes. Mm. Wow. Out of everything, I think it's my favorite. Mm. We love herby stuff, as you can tell. And I like how it's a glass noodle. So good. Spicy. Mm. I highly recommend this. Don't you have a weird oh. taste when you go to... It has a I, weird taste yeah. on your tongue. My tongue feels weird. Yeah. Kind of like paralyzed a little bit. Mm. Sis, are you okay? <laughs> I don't think I need to eat lima for the rest of my life. life. So as promised, kitties, here's our leftover of the most spicy ramen. <laughs> I think you passed one tablespoon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the color! <laughs> I don't know why, but my VJ is really tingly. <laughs> so salty. Check out our mentees, kitties. Yeah, they're really oh. hardworking students. Yes. Their channel's link is at the description box below, so make sure to check it out, kitties. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. I'll try like coffee or tea.